good morning opening morning here in northwest florida we headed out there to get her done it is 2 a.m right now i am super excited and uh on my way so we should be there shortly and then we just gotta wait for some daylight i'm going in blind this morning danny did some uh scouting last week in this spot and I don't even know what I'm walking into. He says he's got some does and like one buck on camera. Um, my sweet spot, we haven't even checked those cameras. I'm sure there's deer on it. I got a half a day today. I gotta take uh, the family. We got some family stuff tonight and then a full day tomorrow. And I might be in my, my good spot tomorrow, saving it for the perfect wind. But today, going in blind wait a little bit till daylight just so i can see a good tree to climb and hopefully we get at least a doe on the ground if it's brown it's down today opening weekend so we'll see you out there made a little pit stop this morning gotta get gas deer cast is showing okay um it's low of 54 high of 84 today so we'll see how that works out I dressed a little warm for this morning since the morning is going to be the coldest set. I got back here to my spot a lot of these roads has tore up since last year um got my truck stuck luckily danny was headed this direction so he uh his four-wheel drive got me out i'm here still got time gotta get the show on the road let's hit the woods and let these hiccups stop us let's go All right, so I'm back in the truck with AC because it's getting hot. I'm probably gonna do a little bit of scouting with Danny, just some other areas. It was a dud back in there. I did have one really nice buck on camera and one, one a couple days ago still had velvet, like a, could have been an eight, maybe a big six point, but it was a shooter six point, it was big enough, so he, it's kind of confusing because he still had velvet, so I'm not sure if they're off doing that. And it might take a week or two to get them up and going when they get hard horned here or what's going on. But we're figuring it out. It's the start of the season, so we got plenty of time. Hopefully we can get something down tomorrow because after scouting, I'm headed to um, with my kid and wife and we got some family stuff to do tonight. I'll see you guys on day two. Okay, so it's day number two. Uh, I came in here, I want to say blind, because I haven't been in here before. I just feel like they're moving up here right now and then in the evening down toward the creek. So I come in here blind. It's got brush, it's like over my head and it's super thick, so I couldn't see where I was at. I was relying on Onyx, and it said uh, Onyx that I was a decent distance from the road, I guess. I have a big, super, like, I don't, I don't even know probably 100 yards over there I have a clearing and literally like 50 60 yards is the road I'm like upset with this tree I would say it's the only tree I can find to climb with the saddle that has cover because it's like like it's like this you have to get way up and I like to be 
you two, three sticks high just in cover. See, I had this oak. I found one right next to this oak. And uh, that's what I'm in right now. But you never know, though, with a crazy morning like this, which uh, I lost a couple things out of my tool bag because the brush was so thick it was grabbing onto my saddle and pulling stuff out of the pockets. But there was not important stuff, so morning like this i mean you had to have a big one come by so hopefully one just walks right by and we can put an arrow in them i can i like to be in places i can't see this far so it's hard but i hear some movement everything's starting to wake up so let's get to it me and danny's out here to get our cameras that caught fire last year we found one that was all busted on to the next one. Pretty big. Hey, dinner, pick it up. Yeah. Not hurry, man. I don't think we're getting this one off the tree, Danny. All right, found a different spot. A couple of scrapes. We're getting all these acorns dropping. I keep thinking this deer as soon as I get ready. But I'm on a pretty good heavy travel trail so hopefully we get some action it's been a long couple days so opening weekend's almost over back to the grind at work tomorrow but hopefully we see something because it's been pretty dead for me danny's got some luck he missed a buck last night but uh this this area feels good i sweat a lot and i stink so i'm hoping that doesn't mess anything up but it feels good in this spot right here. So hopefully that means something. Let's find out. So uh, it's Wednesday after opening weekend. We got off a little early from work today. I'm headed out to an area where I had a camera set up since I had quota for this week. I've had not a single deer on camera. So I'm just gonna go out there, retrieve my camera and maybe do a little bit of on the ground scouting and if i see something worth it i'm gonna climb a tree so you never know what's gonna happen i'm gonna bring you guys along for the ride see what we find and stay tuned let's see so i came in here to get my camera bumped a doe pretty good ways away she didn't wind me or anything she didn't blow i came in here get this camera it didn't even detect me walking right at it so I think I just had the angle off and it wasn't detecting any kind of movement. So it's probably my mistake. But there's deer sign in here. Good set of deer tracks. So I climbed up right where my camera is. I'm in a tree now. I'm literally right on the edge of this creek. So I feel I'm in a good spot. So I'm just going to hang out and see. At least I'm not at work. Got off early. In a tree. Sweating like crazy already. Um, let's go. All right, so technically it's day four, me in the woods, but it's uh, second weekend of season, Saturday morning. From uh, three days of not seeing any deer at all. I did bump one deer on the way in after work Wednesday, but I don't really, I'm not counting those. Um, those bump deers. I mean, I had technically seen the deer, but I'm counting deer that I'm setting in a tree actually coming by me. Um, so bad luck to this morning, the winds. Is going to be, it says northeast. We'll see how it is down 
this area I'm going to, it's my go-to area with the northeast winds. Last year, it did well for me. Um, we got some, a couple of bucks earlier. They're still in velvet in this area. Hoping they're still in the area or they're just moving through today. It's definitely not cold. It's uh, 59 is going to be the lowest and then like 80, 85 degrees or something today. So today's going to suck. Hopefully the, the temperature change. It'll get them up and moving at least a little bit for me. But this this year I noticed uh, acorns everywhere. And I really think it's got these deer that they could be anywhere i tried to focus on being near water because it's been so dry doesn't seem to pan out danny's been away from water and has seen way more deer so it's made no sense to me i'm figuring these deer out i'm confused so this season's going to be a big learning experience for me in this situation but hopefully I can take you guys along with a ride. Y'all can learn with me and I can tell you the situation and the weather and everything. If I see deer or see deer moving, I'll try to notate everything for you guys. Wind direction, temperature, I would say moon phase, but I don't, I don't pay too much attention to that. I literally use the deer cast app most of the time and go by there. Good, great. It's been pretty spot on, um, but sometimes even the poor, and the okay, I still see deer movement, so it's it's not too accurate here in Florida, but it's been pretty spot on in the good and great days. But we'll see what happens when we get out there. Um, hope you guys enjoy, and I apologize for the lack of footage because I haven't seen the lack of animals. But we'll see what's going on. So I'm up and ready up a tree. Didn't have many pictures on my camera in here this morning. One little buck. Um, I got my truck stuck again. Without Danny's help, I used these blocks I bought with straps. They strap around your tire. Worked great. Highly recommend those. The first time I got to use them, bought them two years ago. But cut me right out. And acorns are dropping. Let's see if we can get a deer come by. All right, I am soaking wet with sweat. Got down and I walked a lot of this area. I bumped a couple of does, but there's so many oaks dropping acorns. I checked like ones dropping major quantities. Um, there's tracks everywhere, but I can't find deer poop anywhere. Uh, I think the key, if I find deer poop, I'm probably like on the golden tree where they're bed. So that might be the ticket not sure <laughs> right now all we can do is climb a tree and see what happens because there's there's deer tracks everywhere like all so many different trails and it's so dry that it's hard to see what's fresh so we're just winging it hopefully get something you never know all right up and ready for the evening october 28th i uh found this area it's close to where danny uh Shot at a buck the other day and missed about a few hundred yards away, but it looks good. It's like a, I found this little pine to climb, and beside all these crazy oaks, um, and where the oaks are, kind of makes a bowl inward. So I'm just hoping they kind of just pass through. There's a lot of acorns, a lot of sign, no poop still, but I figured I'd set up here, and I'm probably gonna leave my stuff in the tree and come here in the morning. See how the morning sit is here. I can see for three, four hundred yards through the trees. So hopefully with the binoculars and stuff, I can, if I do need to move trees, I can. We'll see. Up early. We got time to wait. So let's see.
tree nice and early. I left my gear in the tree as I was climbing up, stepping onto the platform. I guess my foot caught the uh, last step, and when I pulled it up, it knocked it loose. And when I tried to straighten it without like climbing down somehow, it fell. So now it's on the ground, and uh, I have to wait for Danny to come give me some help. So I'm gonna stay here, enjoy this hanging hunt, and get down when he gets here. Woohoo! <laughs> 